Good morning, class and professor. My name is Larry Wilson. I'm going to be talking about marriage. Uh, marriage is a very sacred thing. Uh, what marriage does is join two people together and they become one. Uh, marriage was ordained by God. Uh, one of the things that I, uh, article that I read uh, that was written by Carol Hefferman in 2002, she said that uh, marriage was God's ideal uh, to bring two people together. Uh, nowadays, people they just want to be uh, live live together or uh, what uh, young people call it jacking up or your main squeeze. Uh, I've been married for 30 years. Uh, yes, 30 years. Uh, I've been married to the same woman for 30 years. We have uh, three marvelous children that are all grown right now. What we did is uh, we decided to get married. Uh, as she was young. I was a little older than her, a few years older than her. Uh, but God ordained, ordained it from the beginning. Uh, we met uh, 30 years ago. I met her. Let me give you a short story of uh, how we met. Uh, we met at a, uh, on a park bench. Actually, the park bench was at the bus stop. Uh, so I met her at the bus stop. Uh, I had seen her in the mall a few days because she worked in the, one of the stores in the mall. So I had seen her a couple times and right away when I saw, when I first saw her, I heard the Lord tell me that that's going to be your wife. I didn't even know her then, uh, but the Lord had told me that it was going to be my wife. Uh, so one day I saw her walking over to the bus stop. Now I had a car. So what I did is I parked my car in the lot and I walked over to the bus stop. And uh, I introduced myself. And when I introduced myself, uh, I asked her when was the bus coming. And she says, oh, it should be here now. And uh, I said, well, the bus is going to be late today. And sure enough, it was late that day. So I got a chance to introduce myself. And I spoke with her, and that evening we went out. And when we went out to dinner, I told her that uh, God said, you're going to be my wife. And she said, oh, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. But that was <laughs> 30 years ago. So God ordained it. So uh, God is, is truly in marriage. Uh, so uh, when I... Uh, read the article by uh, Kara Hefferman in uh, the 2002 article uh, from Focus on the Family. Uh, she mentioned that marriage is God's ideal uh, to bring two people together. And when you're married, there's no uh, one person. It's uh, no, there's no two people. There's one person. You become one when you're married. You're joined together. And marriage is that's very sacred. Most people don't want to get married, but I, I think it's a beautiful thing. I have not had a problem since I've been married. I can honestly say that. And the honeymoon does not have to stop. Uh, the honeymoon does not have to stop. And when was the last time you had that uh, or got that twinkle in your eye? Uh, that does not have to stop. Uh, I've been married for 30 years and I'm still in love with my wife. And, and we have... Uh, great times together. Uh, we spent a lot of time together. One of the things that uh, brought us together too is we developed a friendship and today she's still my uh, best friend. And um, what marriage does is it, it takes two people again and it makes them one. And when you become one, there's no I. It's just us. And when it's us, you're you join together. And, and one of the things that you join together, when you get married, you, you get the little ring and you both have your rings and you put the ring on your finger. The ring is a circle that brings you both together. And when you wear that ring, it uh, signifies that you are both joined together. And, you're, and it, it, marriage is something that you're going to be in for life. Sickness and health, you know, when you uh, do those, uh, repeat those vows, uh, you say uh, sickness and health, and, and it's uh, truly uh, a thing that you would do with sickness and health. My grandparents were married for 60 years. And when she 
uh, or when he passed away, um, she always told us what a great husband he had been to her. But they were married for 60 years. And my, uh, m my uh, mother-in-law and my father-in-law, they've been married for uh, 50 years. So there's marriage is, is a thing that you get in for life. And it, it's a very beautiful thing. So if you're contemplating marriage, anybody contemplating marriage, or thinking about getting married, make sure God is in it. That's the main thing, to make sure that God is in it. If God is in it, you both will be, it'll be a successful marriage. Uh, most people, marriage is not successful because they don't put God in it. I don't care how rich you are or how much money you have. If God is not in there, if uh, you don't have God in that marriage, it's, it's not going to be successful. And uh, I put God in my marriage, and it's, it's been successful. And my conclusion, get married. If you're thinking about it, get married. If you're engaged, just thank God that you're engaged. And if you have that thing with your, uh, the person that you're engaged with, where you can't hang up the phone. I remember when we uh, were seeing each other before we got married. We would talk on the phone for hours and you hang up. No, you hang up. You hang up. But it was a beautiful thing and I and I still enjoy it even to this day. Uh, my wife is one of the greatest people that I know, uh, my best friend, and we get along just great. And I can honestly say that we, in, within 30 years, we've never had a fight. You know how people have a fight. You have to go sleep on the couch. I've never slept on the couch in, in 30 years. I've never slept. I don't even know what that is when I hear people talking about it. So we talk to a lot of uh, young couples uh, about marriage and and tell them how great it is. And it's a lot of work. I, I admit it's a lot of work. But it's a lot of work. A lot of fun work. It's not tedious work. It's fun work. It's something that you want to do. And when, especially when it's the right person that's chosen by God. Thank you and God bless you.